Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm pretty excited for this video since it's the first time I've really been able to have someone in here where I could record a lighting demo. So today we're just gonna jump right into it and discuss some of the things you can do with two lights. The possibilities with a pair of lights are really endless depending on the situation. Now, if you've watched some of my other behind the scenes videos, you've probably seen the different setups I use when I sometimes have you know, eight or more lights. However, even in those situations, it can be really nice to cut it down to just two lights in order to create something different. So in this video, I thought it would be cool to demonstrate a couple scenarios you might be able to try on the fly by adjusting heights, uh, placement, and you know, differing powers on these guys. Now, filming these videos is still a learning process on how to best do it, especially when I don't have someone here to actually film it as we go along. Uh, so I did what I could with a couple stationary cameras, and we will take a look at the setup, take a few exposures, get initial thoughts from on set, and I might hop in from here uh, as we go, just to give some additional details, I've got my com capture computer here as well, so we might do a little retouching and uh, extensive look at some of these images as they come across in the different scenarios. But we'll do all of that after we roll that intro. All right, so here we are in the studio. I've got my two strobes here and got Kevin back here who needs a couple headshots. So he's been nice enough to stand in for me. Uh, and then what we'll do is to start, uh, I'm gonna just put two medium umbrellas on these two guys, set, them, set one up on either side of the camera and keep them at, the, at even power. And we'll sh see the result over here on the computer and uh, then we'll kind of go from there. So we'll, we'll, I'll be right back with that all set up and we'll take a look at how that looks um, when we get it done. All right, so I've got the two umbrellas set up here and these are around 40 something inch uh, Westcott silver umbrellas. Uh, they're both mounted the same height on the light stands, same stands, and they're at 50% power. So what I'm gonna do is get it directly in between uh, these two lights and we'll fire up a couple shots and take a look at what this lighting looks like All right, Kevin, here we go Nice And then angle to your left a little bit There you go Perfect All right, so you can see what's coming across over here Which is a nice light, but what it is is very even and you know, I would kind of call it flat. And we're getting plenty of light on that backdrop too. So if you want to take that darker, in this case, we'd either have to move away from it uh, or flag these lights uh, to kind of give us that type of look or bring in something darker. Uh, but now what we'll do is I'm gonna move uh, this light down and this light up a little bit, and then I'm gonna change the powers. I'm probably gonna drop this one by two stops. We'll try that and see uh, the, what the difference is in the photo here. All right, so for our second setup, I've raised this light up probably uh, maybe two feet and kept it at the same power as our initial image. And then I dropped this one, I had to change stands uh, and dropped this one down probably about two feet and lowered it uh, to 30% based off of uh, this one um, being at 50%. So we'll do a couple shots and hopefully we'll have a little fall off on this side over here, which will give us a little more interest uh, visually on this image here. So let's do a couple images and see what we get. Yeah, we can, we can start with that. And I tell you what, look off to the right just a little. Nice, and then angle this way. Like you can move your feet and everything. There we go. 
and then back at me just with your eyes. <laughs> that works. Nice, nice. All right, so you can see that we're, we're getting some definite uh, fall off on these images here. It's not a big difference, but there is something going on that uh, visually gives it just a little more interest in, in my book. Okay, so I wanted to hop in real quick from, from here uh, where I have my capture computer so we can take a closer look at the difference between these two exposures, uh, meaning the one with the, uh, the lights at either side of my camera evenly lit lighting uh, Kevin and then the one where I've raised uh, one side and lowered the other and also dropped the power on the lower light by two stops, I believe. So uh, as you can see by these on the left side here is the initial image. Uh, where we've got, you know, it's nice lighting, but it is a little bit flat. And then on this side, we're getting, a, to me, a little more visual interest because uh, we're getting some fall off on this side. I would probably bring up the exposure a little bit on this side, which would actually accentuate that fall off a little bit more um, in post. But just straight out of camera, we're getting something a little more interesting. And by the video and setup, you could tell how quickly that was done. I mean, it's just a matter of just bringing one up bringing one down, switching the power, and we're getting two different results. So back to the studio. From here, what we're gonna do is go to a cross lighting setup where I'm gonna set one of these on directly uh, to the sides of Kevin. And this will kind of take this look here to another extreme. All right, so for our next setup, I've moved the umbrellas uh, from in front of Kevin, or kind of to either side, also to either from either side of the camera, and placed them directly to the sides of him over here. And I've evened the power again, so we're at 50% on each uh, light. The lights are closer to him, so I actually increased my f-stop by two stops, so we're not completely blown out uh, here uh, in the computer. So. Let's do a couple shots and we'll see how this looks in comparison to what we started with. All right, so we'll do straight forward to start. Nice. Perfect. All right, and then angle one way or the other. Kevin, I'll give you the choice. There you go. Nice. Maybe a smile for this one. Perfect. All right, so we can see what that cross lighting uh, look is giving us. Super dramatic, uh, you know, lighting on either side so we get that shadow kind of down the middle because we're not bringing any light from the camera side. Uh, and so what we'll do since we have started with the umbrellas, why don't we switch up the modifiers and see what uh, that happens or what happens when we switch out modifiers from these umbrellas and the different results we can get. All right, so for this next setup, uh, I've still got the umbrella on this side over here. But on the other side, I've switched out the umbrella just for a reflector. So this is gonna be a super hard light source. And then this one's gonna be a little more dispersed. It's still gonna be a hard source, but it's gonna be more dispersed than what we've got going on over here, which is much more focused. So let's do a shot and kind of see what we're uh, looking like. All right, Kevin, nice. Nice. All right, and then angled this way for me a little bit. There you go. Nice. All right, so we can kind of see that uh, that reflector side is gonna give us more specular kind of highlights. It's gonna be a little bit hotter on that right-hand side. And we're still kind of getting that, that shadow down the middle of the face, which can be super dramatic for athletic portraiture, um, that type of thing. Um, but for, I think what we want to do today is in keeping the two light setup we've got, we're going to rotate uh, the lights around uh, with these same modifiers and take a look at what that gives us. And then what we might do is one more modifier change and um, kind of show you what I would normally do in this type of situation. All right, so once again, I wanna jump in so we can take a look at the difference between these two exposures uh, of the cross lighting. So uh, on the left side here, 
Uh, this is where we have the two umbrellas, and you can see, you know, we, we got them in his eyes here. Once again, it's a, a good way to check. Uh, but so this is the you know, more evenly cross-lit uh, lighting example. And you can see you know, this type of lighting, super dramatic. Um, you see a lot of this in some athletic portraiture, um, probably more almost maybe in some you know, movie type poster, key art type work. Uh, and over here on this side is where we have the reflector on the right hand side. And you can see, and I actually had to bring the power down just because it uh, is so much more powerful instead of bouncing out of an umbrella, which is wider and diffusing the light more headed toward uh, this side of Kevin over here, we've got a more directed source. So we're actually picking up more light uh, down uh, the arm and on the shoulder and then here. Um, but you can see there's just a, more of a harshness in the light uh, and that can work to your advantage uh, if you're going for that type of look but I just thought I would um, kind of put these both up on the screen so we could take a closer look at these two examples uh, just to show you know, how things can change based on your modifiers that you put on your strobes. So now back to the studio. All right, so you saw how quick that was. I just simply rotated the lights a little bit to where we brought the umbrella a little more in front of Kevin, and we rotated that hotter, uh, more focused light with the uh, reflector uh, behind him slightly. And we'll do another shot here and see what we get um, with this setup. All right. Nice. There we go. Nice, and then angled this way just a little bit again. There you go, nice. I tell you what, give me like a game face. Bring your uh, chin down just a little bit. There you go. <laughs> All right, and give me one. Yeah, there you go. And then give me one kind of looking off this way here. You can move your chin too. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Nice. All right, so we can kind of see what that's giving us. Not totally dialed in, but we're getting that nice light on one side of his face uh, where the umbrella is, and then we're getting that crisp uh, highlight on the other side from the reflector light. Now I'm gonna switch out another modifier. We're gonna put on a uh, beauty dish here and with some diffusion on the front. And then we'll kind of uh, reposition the reflector light. We'll keep it the same for this next shot. And so we should kind of refine our results a little bit from where we are here. All right, so we've taken it another step here and refined kind of what we're doing. So with this light here, I've taken the umbrella off and switched it out for the beauty dish like I mentioned. And then I uh, brought it up a little bit and angled it slightly down. Uh, for this back uh, reflector here, I took it up and angled it down a little bit and also brought it down uh, a stop. So it's not gonna be quite as harsh on that side of Kevin's, um, you know, the back side of his head and on the side of his face. So let's do a shot here. This is kind of, if you've watched my behind the scenes videos, this light is usually what I have on my boom arm that I move up and down. But here we're obviously not gonna have any fill. So it's gonna be kind of more of a, you know, chest waist up kind of a headshot type of uh, look. But very, should be very dramatic uh, the way we have it set. All right, here we go. around just a little bit more. Nice. Look off camera, there you go. Yeah, look off camera that way, perfect. And then bring it back to me. And then maybe give me one looking that way. And then let's change your angle again. Let's go this way. Nice. There you go, give me those look offs, perfect. And one more back at me. Kind of a game face type look. Chin down just a little. Perfect. All right, so these look 
look really nice in my opinion. So two lights, uh, you can completely see the setup we did here with some refinements. We've kind of dialed in where that uh, edge light is. Uh, one of the things I usually look for is it's not touching uh, the side of his nose and we've got it clear there. And we got some nice light coming from the uh, beauty dish over here. So that's several different setups for several different looks with just two lights that we've done. Okay, so as we wrap this up uh, on the last setting where I rotated the lights around, I just thought I would jump in again he from here and show uh, several, I've got four different images up here and I've got uh, Kevin uh, angling in different directions, which uh, is, you know, I think it's really important in any photo shoot, but then when you're working cross lighting, uh, uh, you know, more so when I had them to the sides of him, but uh, it's important to have your, you know, your model kind of angle in different directions and, you know, maybe their body's going one way and then they look the other and vice versa. Uh, but so you just get, you know, a complete range of different poses and images. Uh, you know, it's not just looking straight at the camera, um, smiling, that type of thing. You know, we've, I've got him, and I do have some smiles in here too, but um, these, these are just the four examples I pulled up. But I just wanted to show different head angles and how they uh, react in or play in with this two lighting type setup. So uh, you can, you know, the posing is what I guess what I'm trying to get at is the posing can be as important as your lighting setup. And uh, I think some people kind of forget that and they just put someone in front of their camera, set up some lights and have them smile at the camera or look at the camera and take a picture. So this is a whole nother dimension you can go down uh, and um, you know, it just adds to that extra level of creativity you can have with your photography. All right, a little video hack with uh, a mouse on a loud table. I've got a, uh, just a lens cloth here, <laughs> which quieted or silenced that uh, to a certain extent. But anyway, uh, I do hope that this video might give you all a glimpse into just a few of the many lighting combinations you can pull off with just two lights. If you want a deeper dive on this content with a couple more combinations, uh, with different modifiers, and I'll show some direct examples that I've used uh, with um, like the Atlanta Falcons, for example, um, when we change out the modifiers, uh, working with the football players. Um, but if you wanna see some of that uh, on, in another video, or it's more of an extended um, video of what we've been doing here, um, check out my Patreon, which will be linked below. Um, as always, if you found this um, video here to be worthy, you know, please hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, uh, hit that subscribe button down there and the little bell so YouTube will let you know <laughs> when I'm here. Uh, you can always find me on social media at Quants Photo on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, please, as always, stay safe and healthy out there. And I hope to be here in the next one. See, we'll go this way.